In this video, I'm going to recap my hundred faces and how I really felt about it, uh, about each one, and just some of the questions that I got asked. So this was the first one. <clears throat> and just to be honest, I was just using board, like all the backs. I just cut it in half. This was like a drawing pad uh, and I just had finished all the paper but there's something about this one that I really like so I know for one I like to use paper that's not white I, I think there's something in it with me that I really like I liked that I put these little collage pieces down they were just pieces of paper they actually still don't really do anything I didn't incorporate them in I just drew over them but I there's something I really liked about this one and so the tone, I liked kind of how fast I was with the with the drawing. I wasn't trying to be fast with these, but I ended up being fast was really helpful. I was, again, the first day I was trying to do a hundred in, you know, a whole day. And I made it 31. I pretty much worked from 10 in the morning until probably 10 at night. Um, okay, so... And this one, I was watching somebody else, and they kind of were expanding and um, just exaggerating certain features. I don't know if I would do this again. I did pick a color palette, so I was working with a color palette. It was pretty broad. I was also working on old sheets of paper that I wasn't, I don't know, particularly, I didn't particularly care about. Something I like here is that you know, in the shadow area was one color, but then in the in the other area, there was still kind of, this would be maybe a highlight area. And I used a weird color and I really liked that. I'm not sure if I would go with the exaggeration. Or, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but this was like a Skillshare where I was gonna paint probably this way. And like you painted half and then you paint and it was in an oval. So I just used that oval to my advantage. This was just somebody out of my head. So um, using a needle nose, um, I, I fill these fine liners. I have other ones as well, these really big pens, but you can get little ones just from, and I just fill them with ink and then you, they close off pretty good. A lot of times you use them for frisket or for, you know, something for watercolor to, as a masking fluid. Like this one, I probably throw away cause it's not, but this is kind of where I started, and and this is a good one. But I do have pins with these, and then I just can't seem to find one right now. But this was this is a great. I'll have a link in the description. But this is I love this. Um, and then I just painted over the rest. This again from my head. This was probably this one. This is like a green color. Um, can't see it, but it is a green, just a Birmingham ink. So it's water soluble, but it's, uh, it was the screen. And then I just used, um, a Stabilo all pen, pencil, and it's water reactive. So anyway, that was just from my head. Again, this was just like the back of a sheet of paper that I didn't like this painting. So some of them I just painted right on top. Again, so this is another kind of pad of paper or something that was cut down. Um, I think I cut it down probably too many colors on this. Really don't like this, but I love this watercolor paper. I think I tried it a couple times. I found that black was really difficult. The brown I could do pretty okay, but the black was really difficult for me to understand how to do highlights, lowlights, and stuff. This was actually pattern piece of paper that I had painted these long kind of just it was just a pattern of these pink blobs um but I really liked this one I think this girl's just out of my head <laughs> I mean I hate that I kind of cut her off but and then I painted around the edges and that's something I ended up doing more because the background was too distracting and so I really liked that I did go ahead and paint over 
some of it, which helped focus in, but you can still kind of see, but I would definitely be doing that one, that more. This was just like a piece that I had done for a website. I was trying to draw some words and then just really didn't like it. So um, I did like the texture that I was doing later. So I was trying to write leadership, but I just took, again, I can't ruin this piece of paper anymore, but I did really like this. This was kind of in the color palette I was using. So the pink wasn't in the color palette, but the orange and blue and brown were. The pink was already on the piece of paper. So um, this one I hate, but it was like flowers and I ended up covering. And it's a piece, but it's not very good. Um, another little sheet. Really, this was out of my head. I don't like this. This was like ugly, I don't know. It was something about lavender and there were these drawings and they were all water soluble. So when I started drawing over it, it just made a huge mess. I don't tend to draw, I tend to draw face forward people. So I did work on that later. Again, this is from my head, so how good are you? This is a piece that was a flower. It looks like this person has a bloody nose, but again, it kind of works. Um, I'm okay with it. Uh, I, it's not my favorite, but for what it was and now what it is, I'm okay with it. Like, I made it, I wasn't trying to go with a bloody nose, but as I look at it now, I don't hate it as much as I did. I do still hate this one. I had something else, then this is where I started coming in with paint. I just couldn't save this one. This was just terrible. This is a little one again out of my head using like the fine liner and then some, I think I used maybe some oil pastels with this one. I did like this one, but again, it's just reminding me like this doesn't even really show up. It doesn't really even make a difference. And I like that, that I was able to use this old sheet of paper and make something where the thing that was on it that was quote unquote ruining it isn't even really matter. And I love that. This was the other side of, I had done this, Strathmore does these watercolor, um, or they do exercises like things. And in May, it was a watercolor and it was this awesome guy. And he kind of showed you how to do stuff. And it was similar color palettes. And um, so I just took, I capped it. And the other side I used, um, I think this is the other the other side so you can kind of see maybe what it was it was like this i don't know if you can see the trees or anything but they're in her face anyway didn't make for so great but oh well it's ugly i instead of painting with the painting on the back i tried to just paint on top of it could i save it no but i was able because i tried here i was able to make save some others so it gave me I hate this one still hate this one it was a sunflower it's just i don't know terrible looks pornographic to me now i love this one this was some lady that was teaching me something on a class uh, that i'd paid for and she wasn't teaching about faces but this is really the color palette not necessarily the background this was an added color, but the blue and the orange, the kind of brown, the gray. Um, and I really just thought this was, I, I'm going to use some of my gouache as some of these background fills because they really helped to focus and I liked the bright color, but I really liked this one. So this doesn't really, I don't think the lady would even be able to recognize that this was her, but I know, and I'm glad I just tried. I never paused her, so as she was teaching me something, I was not pausing her, so this was a completely always moving subject. So for me, I this is a huge win. To me, this looks like a person. It's not out of my head, and I really like this. Was pro I'm gonna put this to the side. It's kind of like the number one. I, I liked this one a lot as well, so I'm gonna throw these to the side. <clears throat> oh, but so okay so then this one I was drawing from something I tried that again with kind of masking the background because this one did have a lot of black on it already 
So I needed something to kind of help make the shape, and I really like this little one. I like that I used orange in her. I mean, she looks kind of pissed, but I like her lips. Like, there's just a lot of things that I really, I really like about this one. And it's, you know, pretty small. So now we're on 18. This I also was looking at something um, as I did this one. Um, to be honest, I can't remember if this was ink or marker or what. Maybe it was paint. I don't know. But I like it. I like the, you know, that there was kind of, I didn't center it. it because I was looking at a photo, I could actually kind of try. And this was supposed to be the teeth. Uh, not sure. This one I also kind of like. This one's from my head. I had a whole bunch that of pieces of paper that just had these big black marks through them. As I cut them down, it really made them weird, but I don't mind this one. Um, there's something soft about it, even though it has this really dark line. So there's, there's something to that one. Don't like this one. I think this did kind of look like the girl. Maybe it's the color palette. It's like a tan kind of, maybe I used this in there, this oil pastel at the end. I just wasn't happy. This one was one where I had done some, you can see I was testing out some colors. Whoops. Um, and I have the other side of this one, but like I was testing out some Daniel Smith watercolors and you can see these circles. You can kind of, this one's like a, I don't know, it's more iridescent so I don't really see it but so there are these and you'll see the other side again I'm kind of blocking off some of the things so I don't love this one but I don't hate this one either you know how can I show highlight by using the orange I think her head hair is probably too big but anyway this one looks um, kind of like somebody who was a, another mom to me as I was growing up. Um, but I didn't do this to make it look like her. So I don't want to say what I actually was looking at a photo. And what I did was I let this pink ring kind of stay there. But it, it, I think this was like a, just a brown. Uh, but it almost kind of looks like it's like bronzy or something. I mean, it's not shimmery. But then I did this, these flowers that were on her her coat, her lapel. I kind of did those just as a, a sketch and I really liked that. So this I could see being more of like a collage piece, but I thought it was really cool how this stuff turned out. So I was really happy with this. Miss Satram, I'm sorry. I don't really think it looks like you, but it does sort of remind me. And this little pink angel. Um, I hate this one. I did this one live. I mean, you could watch me paint it. This is just from my head. It's terrible. I'm not saying it. That we're at number 24. This is at the end of the day. I am just running out. This looks like a clown. This is out of my head, but facing another way. I hate this one. Now, I like this one. This one had most of this blue, um, like here, was from from, I had just was cleaning my brush, I think, on the piece of paper. But I, I really like how this one ended up turning out. So I was happy with this one. This one is on brown paper. So I like this one for that reason. I do like that I'm, again, trying, but I was doing it with a different, I was just doing it with um, some uh, crayons, probably the Neo color and then going back over it with water to just trying to, so I do like bright. I'm coming out with the bright. I was trying some different things. It actually is, it doesn't always look, this part doesn't look so, so bright, but oh well. I, I wouldn't, I mean, it's not one of my favorites. Well, probably not in the top 10 for sure, but I don't mind this one. But from my pit, that's pretty good. Now this is the, the other side of anyway of, of this one I think this was like this maybe you can kind of see where I was uh, 
doing these um, whatever's you know color and and this one I have live as well but what happened was I, the ink started bleeding and I just love this one I anyway I just really like this one I like the the red um, I like how what happened with when I touched this watercolor that I had done these swatches um, I like that I just used the Posca pen for something kind of around her shirt. Um, I think this was just out of my head. I think it probably needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, but I really like what I did with some of the colors. thought there was some, for me, some neat things happen. In this one I have, watch. So you can see how some of the, ble the bleeding Happen. And instead of like freaking out, I going, which was cool. So I hate this one. Do I need to talk about these? this? Is number 29. This is one of those that had all these black lines. And I don't really like this one. I don't hate it. But anyway, here's one where, so this is the last one I did. I was looking at someone, but there was a lot of stuff already on the page. All this, this stuff was already on the page. There was a lot of stuff so I had to come in over a lot of it in white because it was just a lot of black and blue um so I mean I didn't really work on the dress but I kind of like it as a hint so there's something there um this was the next morning this is a Monday having with some friends and I tried to just draw them I'm sitting in front of my computer um I have the limited palette I ended up coming in later because it was just too hard to see the head without painting some of this background. And I think this is pretty distracting, um, but I was playing, you know? This does not look like my friend, and this does not look like my friend, but I do, I don't mind these so much. And I liked her glasses. That was about it. This also doesn't look like my friend, but I like the colors. I like how I did something different in the eyes, make it darker, and then just the kind of, I don't know what we were, the lack of emotion. There is some blue here. So just, this was a self-portrait. <laughs> the Skillshare class that I had where the guy was half this is the same Skillshare class. So it, this has a uh, oval and then half is painted one color and half is the other. This is the same where you have half, half. And I know this looks like I was using um, my pink brush pen, I think. And oh, well, I know this doesn't. Clearly, I have some issues. Um, I don't like this one either. Um, was trying this with white, more bold, being fast. I was looking at something. Don't like it. I don't mind this one, but maybe it was because it was too small. I just don't really like how I executed on the face again, like what I did around there. This was at an art. Oh, no, this was from a magazine. It's black paper this time, but I just really have a hard time on black paper. This was my cousin. This does not look like her. I liked this one. I liked the girls. I don't know. There was something that I really liked. Some of this was, um, maybe this was just completely, I just did all this, but I just really used two things. Don't like this one. I love this one. This was a lady I did an art camp and she was one of the ladies that was attending. And since we were on Zoom, so there's something I was learning about layering with my brush pens. They are water soluble, but instead of like just let doing one line, I put it angled on the piece of paper. I just really liked this one. Not maybe, I don't know. Um, this was another lady I was trying to on. I really, the lady was so interesting looking, but I didn't really capture her really well. This is, as I was drawing my friends, I had to have something 
so that it was like keeping me, you know, from getting all over my desk. And as I was painting, um, that's what ha I just ended up making it into a face. Um, I really like, this is from that art camp. This is another lady. Uh, probably it's too dark here. Um, and then, but I like, her lips were really little. I think I captured it pretty good. Again, I'm using brush pens. I'm not going over it. So this was a win for me. Not, not probably top 10. This was, um, I did really like this one. This was the only one on black that I did like. So used, I think, two different colors here. So the darker brown and then a peach color. And then I did her glasses and her hair in white. She had brown hair. I did really like this one. Same thing, the lady was at the thing. I didn't like this one. This one was okay. Not one of my favorites. This does not look anything like the lady. The blue was already there and I was just trying. So again, I'm really struggling when it's dark to light. This was another lady. I obviously didn't get her mouth. This was the same sort of thing I was using as a background, but it's a face. You know, obviously not terrific. Um, this one... Uh, I, I was trying to do more strokes instead of blending. And I don't know if I would do this style again. I was looking at something here and I do like this one. Uh, it's very loose for me. Don't like this one. Don't like this one. It was on top of a painting I abandoned. Um, I'm really painting over a lot in white here. I really like this one. This was like a big mess. And then I just, it was some lady that was on Pinterest. I thought as I kept doing dark and then trying to add highlights, this was the first one kind of worked. I don't love it, but it was the first one that worked. Um, out of my head, the fine liner again. I really did like this one. Now this one, I think I was using the, at the very end, this, and it had a lot of color al already on it, but I really, this guy was on Pinterest, so I, he's in the, in the top, not in the top. I did like this. This is like the back of the cover. Um, and, you know, for me, I stuck with two colors. I think there's two pinks, maybe three pinks, and then just the black was just to give a shape for her things. I This was maybe top 20. I was sticking with same kind of two colors, but marker or pen. It's kind of creepy. Um, thinking more angles and planes of your face. So more of an exercise. There's something interesting, but not my favorite. Both. Glitter. I was looking at something with this. I, I was looking at something with all these. Again, I think this is my last attempt on black. This was the other side. The And I was looking at something in a magazine. Two colors. Another magazine. This is just a... I'm really working on the shape of the head, making things proportional, and really kind of trying to draw it better. It's not the worst, but I don't really think the white on top worked. From a magazine, some guy in a hat. Not from a magazine. This is like some scary guy in my head. And this was somebody in a magazine. Not happy with it. This is a little kid in a magazine. This was a guy in a magazine. I was okay. I tried the angle again, just one color. I do think I captured the emotion. Had different colors. Don't think it works. And I do like this one. Her teeth are wicked big, maybe bigger than what they were, but that's okay. So exaggerating something. Um, but I think I captured something. So I, I like that one. I think I needed to use darker. This, I tried a whole bunch of weird colors with this 
So I liked that I tried something, but I don't think the hair and the face connect. So that's something for me to know. If I'm going to use this dark, I probably need to put some of it here and like this, the hot pink color. I need to move it around. It, it's just too much right there. I do like this one. I don't remember if I was looking at any here. And I'm kind of drawing these in the dark. This one was just an old painting, and I don't know what it was originally. I don't mind it. It's kind of ghostly, ethereal. So there's something interesting about it. Put those to, to the side. Hate this one. Again, it's on dark. So this was an old piece of art that had some rubber stamps that I'd carved. I was like, can I make, you know, painting the background, can I make this into something? And I just, that's out of my head. I don't know if this is out of my head or not. If this is a piece of paper that was already colored and then I just added the Posca pen and then maybe some of the, some ink. This one is kind of what it looked like in the beginning. I hate, I don't like this one. So then I'm, I'm at this point, it's 84, number 84. And I like this one. It's just pencil. Um, not, I don't love it, but I like it, okay. This is like, I am really getting sick of faces. I think I was gonna do something here, but I didn't. So I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw something fast. This one I did try. This is number 87. I am so tired of drawing faces, but I did have a second win. So I didn't like this one. This is from a, a book that I had. I was just drawing the artist in the book. I could have done something on the back. Um, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. But this is from maybe that same book. I do like this one. It was something really soft about this. So maybe it's the colors. There were a couple that kind of had this sort of soft look, soft feel and it uses some of the same colors. So there's something interesting about this. Now this one, I do really like. I don't know if you would be able to see it. So she has her head back. This is the edge of her chin. This is her neck. And like if she was a boy, there would be her Adam's apple, but her chin is here. Her lips are here. Her hair is coming over her face. This is her eye. So this is, this is her nose. You're looking up her nose, right? Here's your ear. Um, I don't know what that, maybe a pocket on her shirt or something, but it was already there. And then this is her neck, you know, like her shirt butt or something. It was really interesting crop. So I do think there's something neat about this. And I really colored, there was a lot of black. So I had to color over. I think I'm, I was using this a lot just to kind of get that so it wasn't so, so dark. This was from that same book. Really, this was part of a piece of art that I had done. I actually kind of think I like that better than anything else, so. This one, same book, hate it, don't like it. Number 94. Since I don't really draw from top down, I thought I would try, I do not know what I was thinking. Here, I have the hiccups now. I don't know why I wasn't feeling the space. This was a really messy, um, like I tried to paint flowers, I guess. Uh, and I didn't like it. And I don't know what I've, I did try to do something on the other side. And then I just cut it down. And I do really like him, like again, really liked what I was getting. Hate this one. I don't mind this one. And then this is the last one. And it's because it's been with other things, it is getting messy, but I do really like it. I still like it, even though it's got some of this um, stuff that wasn't there originally, but I like this one. And then I did this one after. I don't like it. This was like the piece of paper that was covering my desk. Just realized I have another piece of washi tape. That's it. That's what I liked. I'll do my top 10 next.